Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we are back with some more Metroid Prime 2. Echoes, ohs, ohs. Last time we played this game, we returned to the Great Temple, acquired the light suit, and we began our search around Dark Aether for all the Sky Temple keys, as well as the expansion phase for this game. So I've been doing some thinking, you guys. I've been doing some research with some maps. I only have six items left, two of which are on the Dark World, so I obviously just want to... There's obviously a Rift Portal right in front of me, so I want to go ahead and get those last two items in the Sky Temple grounds, along with the... Our fourth Sky Temple key. I, yeah, I believe it's my fourth Sky Temple key, so I just want to go ahead and do that right here, right now. So just for beginning, guys, can this video please hit 15 likes? And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you want a shout out, be sure to show your subscription to me public publicly. If you want, make sure to get a shout out. So without further said, for all systems, go for this video in three, two. One, here we go. So you guys, I was just looking at the Great Wind Chamber on my map, as you guys could just see right there. So after the end of the last video, I did take a look at the Great Wind Chamber, and uh, basically, it gave me this brand new item. It was very interesting. It's basically um, super missiles for the light beam. Sorry I didn't document it, but I'll leave a link in the description for a video of a, about a, of a tutorial on how to get that uh, item that I just showed, uh, that, that, that I got. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, crap, we're starting off this video by fighting some Dark Pirates, I believe, so this will give me a, hopefully it'll give me a good opportunity to get some good, some of the good stuff. Alright, yep, I got him, and, uh, okay, I should try and be a little more careful. Alright, let's see, where is his friend? Oh, man, his friend is, oh, man, his friend is playing hard to get, isn't he? Um, aha, there he is. It's like he doesn't notice I'm right here, but, anyways, as I was saying, that new, this new item I just got, it's basically super missiles for the, uh, for the light beam, basically what it's called, it's called the sunburst. It takes up, apparently it takes up uh, 30 ammo, 30 points of ammo for the light beam and uh, 5 missiles. So, I do agree, that is complete BS, but hey, at least it works. Okay, yeah, now we got a whole bunch of that ammo back. I don't, I don't, I won't use, uh, I won't necessarily use sun, uh, sunburst until absolutely necessary. And plus, it'll give me a uh, chance to demo it. Okay, yeah, here's, uh, this is probably where our first item is on the list today. It looks like a Sonic theme because there are these, uh, there are these panels right here, which are usually Sonic-based uh, panels, so let me go ahead and see what the thing is. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, that pun was not intended, by the way, so let's see, is this the one? Uh, nope, that is not the one. I think I can recognize the pattern now, so it was that one. Um, nope, not. Okay, it, it needs a spe I need a specific game to get this thing right. Okay, wait, did I get the first one down? Okay, no, I didn't get the first one. So it was uh, this one, then that one, then that one, then back to this one. Gateway to Sky Temple Active. Um, I know that. I know that by now. So, let's see. Am I doing this? Yes. Yes, I'm doing this right. Okay. Yep. There's that annoying old beacon, which is kind of similar to the one back on the first uh, Metroid Prime game, where it just shows up constantly. Okay. Yep. Now it's just uh, back to this last one. Then I believe, according to my map here, it should be another ammo expansion. I've been doing pretty good with ammo. I've only acquired like one ammo expansion. And that was basically it. Okay, return keys to gateway. This thing really will not go away until you just press the button, eh? Well, I only have I only have three. Well, yeah, I most likely only have three keys for the Sky Temple right now, so I can't really do that. Okay, guys, this is only my second beam ammo expansion, and according to my thing, we now have 150 um, shots with my ammo. Okay, something's just going on my screen. All right, so we can easily mark off that uh, yeah beam ammo expansion for the profane path. Now we gotta go. Explore some hatches here because there is uh, there is another Sky Temple key around here somewhere. All right, let me just go ahead and destroy those uh, blade pods just to give myself a bit more ammo, even though I should have like 150 shots by now. All right, so this one this one should basically lead us to a missile expansion. Then, according to my map, eventually at some point uh, it'll eventually lead me to a uh, another Sky Temple key. And we've got a Dark Talon Metroid right here. Be gone. Okay, I really gotta switch to my Dark Beam right here right now, because Dark Beam, it has that freezing effect with the Metroid, so... Aha! Oh, okay, man, this Metroid is a little, uh, tricky to get. Okay, yep, I got him, and we blew him up. Okay, yeah, like I said, you just gotta have some careful aiming with this. Okay, uh, okay, I was on the Light Beam. Oh, wait, this is the Federation landing site on... That music's back. There's that music from the Impact Creator I was talking about one earlier in an early episode. And god, it is actually very morbid to see that Metroid carrying around that dead space pirate. I mean, look at this. This is just absolutely creepy. Not only is there that creepy music from the Impact Creator back in the first Metroid Prime game, but there's that freaking Metroid carrying a lifeless body of a space pirate. I suppose I'll go ahead and scan them a little later. I'm sure there is, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a, uh, beam out, uh, there is super missiles for the, uh, dark beam, as a matter of fact. Okay, I might want to try and be rather fast because there is, uh, 
Metroids right there. Okay, that this one that one guy carrying the space pirate's lifeless body, he's just going around. Then I see uh, the other space pirate. Uh, well, I see the other Metroid just uh, le leeching at him. Okay, pirate commando. Okay, it just uh, it just shows a scan thing. Okay, this pirate commando is obviously dead as heck because uh, yeah. And then there's that one Metroid looking at the lifeless body of that guy. And of course, I didn't expect my light suit to protect me from Phazon. Target bio target has been dead for less than a cycle. Target has been drained of all bioenergy by a Metroid. Target's weapon systems are full. Apparently, the Metroid that killed it caught it by surprise. Okay, yeah, Metroids, everybody. Dormant Ink Claw. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as those regular Ink Claws, because I swear I saw that thing before. All right, let's try and be careful around these Phazon containers, because I remember it blew me up once. Okay, so it looks like uh, looks like our next missile expansion is across that there gap, but hopefully my screw attack will protect me from these Metroids. So, up and up, up, and let's screw attack. Yeah, you Metroids better be afraid of me because I have my screw attack, and my screw attack thus makes me absolutely invincible. Alright guys, 105 missiles. I was looking at my statistics uh, when I was loading my file for this video, but it, it said I only have like 50% uh, of all the items in the game. Alright, yep, that Metroid obviously still didn't have the chance to defend himself. Okay, yep, there's another space pirate right here. Target has been dead for less than a cycle like his friend. Target has been drained of all bioenergy by a Metroid. Target's weapon systems are empty. It didn't go peacefully. Okay, so this guy, he must have seen one of the Metroids try to attack his friend there, but his friend obviously didn't see him, so that's why he died so fast. But... Yeah, again, Metroids, everybody, you just don't, you just can't trust them. Okay, guys, uh, that, that, that isn't necessarily all the items for the Sky Temple grounds here, Bob. The only item we have left to collect for this area is that uh, Sky Temple key, which should be somewhere through the store. If I remember correctly, I think I know where it was back on Light Aether. Yeah, there was, I think I do know where it was back on Light Aether because, oh, wow. Okay, I thought I saw something, but maybe, yeah, that was probably the little ink storm things flying around here. I find it cheesy how I can't open uh, light beam doors and dark beam doors with both with the annihilator beam. All right, is this the uh, requiler, requirery grounds? Okay, yeah, my this, our next Sky Temple key should be right up ahead. Okay, it says there's uh, enemies up ahead, so that must mean the ink is nearby. So, all right, let's try and get, let's actually go with our light beam, because light beam is typically usually, usually very effective. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I could easily showcase that uh, that light burst, uh, that sunburst I was talking about. I don't even know what it looks like. So let's see what it looks like. Holy! Cr oh my God! We just completely annihilated that guy right there. All right, yeah, that took up a whole bunch, smack ton of our ammo. So let's try and uh, let's try and save our ammo. Habuski. Yep, yep, yep. The uh, light doesn't feel good, does it? Okay, I find it. I find it handy how it only takes like two uh, light beam shots to kill an ing. Okay, I think we. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we killed that guy. And there's a. Uh, Oh crap, his friends are quite angry that I killed him. Oh my god, this thing, these things are really fine around here. I guess they really like protecting their uh, requirely grounds or wherever this place is. Alright, yeah, according to my thing, there's a couple more guys right up ahead, so... Okay, I just want to switch my beam so I can easily uh, charge the thing up and not waste any ammo. Okay, there's a blade pod right here, so let's go ahead and annihilate the beam hills just so I can get that ammo back. Um, let's see, where are his... Uh, where his friends? Where his friends at? You never know where his friends could be at. All right, we're supposed to hop along here, and I assume this eventually leads us up to our Sky Temple key, or it just leads me right back to where I came from. So let's just try and take this a little more carefully now. There should be, according to my thing here, there should be only be like two more um, beam ammo expansions before we have all our ammo. Yeah, there's uh, those two dots don't seem to be moving, so that definitely means there's a couple more ink warriors that are just lying around here waiting to spring me by surprise. But thankfully, I have the power of the light beam, so hopefully they don't sneak up on me. Okay, I think those, uh, yeah, I'm really not sure what's going on. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, our next, our last Sky Temple Key for this area should be right through this here door. So I think I remember, yeah, this is, uh, this is the place on Light Aether where we found that one guy who said he was writing that testament while he was being possessed by an ing. And I think I saw a shadow of that, of those, uh, ing caches. Yep, there's an ing cache right over, uh, right over here. So let's go ahead and, uh, blow him up. All right, look at that, guys. Oh. I said, look at that, guys. That should be... I think that's four Sky Temple Keys now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is four Sky Temple Keys. Now, I know that's... Pro I'm pretty sure that's it. That's pretty much all the items for the Sky Temple Grounds. So now, all we gotta do for the rest of this, um... For the rest of this area is just go back to the Temple Grounds and acquire what few items I have remaining there. All right. Um... You ain't aren't gonna surprise me, are you? Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like they're gonna surprise me. They surprised me in the past, so I just wanted to make sure they didn't give me a spook. All right. Yeah, I couldn't find the hatch for a moment. Okay, yeah, there's the hatch. There's the hatch right there. I easily know, I easily know where a few of these items are, and apparently in the, near, towards the end of the last episode, I walked right by those items, which I know I find really cheesy that I just walked right by them, because they were in plain sight. Alright, now we don't want to be, uh, we want to be nice and speedy here, because this, this is where damn Metroids were. 
Yep, that is where them Metroids were, and that's where that creepy music from the Impact Creator was. Alright, we could go ahead and screw around. Okay, crap, we, I was going to say we could screw around with that Metroid, or we could just ignore him, or apparently the Metroid just wants to drag us right down and have a party with us. Alright, yep, let's just go ahead and get some of our ammo back. And what did I expect? There are more uh, Dark Pirate Commandos along here. Ah, you think you can surprise me, but you can you can miss my shots, but do you th honestly think for a moment that you can surprise me? Oh boy. Um, nope, you ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me, boy. Okay, yep, there's uh, one more. I feel like there'd be one more. Alright, let's get in nice and close, but hopefully not too close, because he'll fire that uh, EMP grenade, which will mess up my visor for a moment. Alright, just, again, just before we leave, let's go ahead and annihilate or beam these things. I mean, again, like I've said this multiple times, but I really actually did have a fun time fighting the Quadraxis. Like, it was a very nice, uh, very nice strategy. The award was absolutely awesome for beating Quadraxis, and just everything about the Quadraxis fight I absolutely enjoy. Alright, just while we're transporting through the interdimensional rift between Aether and Dark Aether, I just want to... Hopefully, try and switch my maps here. I, I use, again, I know where to find these other few items, but yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Sacred Path Transports A. This is a. Uh yeah, this isn't too far from the Galactic Federation compound here. I know, I easily know where one of the items are. One of the items wasn't uh, too far from here. Okay, yeah, I forgot there were them war wasps here. I got rid of their nests uh, while I was uh, get, come into this portal just to not waste time. All right, yeah, like I said, there was, uh, like I said, well, guys, there once upon a time, there was a missile expansion uh, there, but I went ahead and I already got that. And like I said, I just got the sunburst uh, without filming that. I'll be sure to document the other uh, beam combos. All right, again, like I said, I think I know where to get, uh, I know where to get this one, okay, and let's just go ahead and blow that nest up. Yeah, according to my map here, this should be, uh, this should be another, uh, energy tank, so let's, uh, let's rather go. Okay, we're going back down to, through Sanctuary Fortress, so our light suit can use a light-based teleportation system, so, oh god, okay, yep, there's another Illuminoth threat there, so I should have, uh, I should have remembered that. All right, let's go ahead and go up this thing. Oh, okay, wow, we, okay, whoa, this is cool. Oh, wow. Wow, that is actually, that's actually a very nice light-based teleportation system. I mean, according to the data, we can also use this to transport to the energy controllers of different regions, but one of our items, our last item for this area should be, uh, it should be, it's basically at the elevator for the Aegon Waste, so I just want to go ahead and collect that as we're on our way down to Aegon. Alright, yeah, look at that, guys, we already have, uh, that energy tank, so... Alright, come on, let me just, uh... Pop the map for a moment. Yeah, it's not too far away. The communication area and the dynamo chamber is where these uh, items are. It's a missile and a power bomb expansion. Then, of course, uh, by the uh, by the elevator to the Agon Wastes, I believe it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a uh, another missile expansion. That I apparently just walked right by. Okay, good. That Luminoth turret is uh, is still been destroyed. Okay, wait, wait up. Why did I just curl up into my ball again? I I don't know why I accidentally pressed that. Okay, I just want to go ahead and destroy those nests before those. How did that missile phase right through the nest? All right, I don't know how that happened. Um, let's see, communication area. Okay, so we're gonna go, want to go through the hatch to our left right here. I don't think I've, yeah, if I remember correctly, I've been down this area for a long time. Yep, that missile um, is gonna destroy that nest. I was gonna say that missile is gonna blow up that missile, but then that just wouldn't make any sense, would it now? All right, yeah, I really do enjoy how, uh, it's it's kind of strange to me, but it's, I really do find it, uh, Kind of satisfying how uh, the game's like the story of the game has taken so much of a change. Okay, sorry, my dogs are barking in the background. My mom just uh, got home from work, so just excuse that. All right, uh, communication area. Yep, yeah, this is where this is where our next item should be. It's uh, missile expansion, if you recall. No, I think there were some. I think there were some war wasp nests nearby. Okay, wait, can we destroy this game with? Okay, it doesn't look like it's anything scannable, so likely not. All right, keeping my eye out. Okay, this is where our um, expansion should be. Yep, there's those war wasp nests. Unit is a sophisticated stasis chamber. Xenotech is designed to encase small objects within a stasis field. Okay, I saw the word stasis tank, and I assumed uh, maybe there'd be a Luminoth in there. I wouldn't want to kill a Luminoth because everybody else is in stasis until the Inga being destroyed, if you guys recall from the lore. All right, so it looks like small items in here. Okay, yeah, you see the breakable points. Okay. My missile, my missile launcher is not very good today, so, come on. What? How? How can I destroy that? Um, let's see. Fire field is durable, but can be destroyed by explosives. Okay, wait, maybe it's a morph ball thing. Um, okay, yeah, it was a morph ball thing. I thought it was a missile thing for a moment, but 
Speaking of missile, we now have that missile expansion right there. So, yeah, that's already 110 missiles. Now, the next room, um, we're going to want to go to the hatch behind us. Dynamo Chamber. This is where our power bomb expansion would be. All right, let's just make sure I'm going the right way. Yep, Dynamo Chamber. I'm going the right way. And then the last item for this area is definitely that uh, missile expansion, which is right by the elevator for the Agon Waste. Okay, yeah, this is uh, something with Denzion. I think I recall scanning this. So, power bombs away. Kind of ironic that we got to use power bombs to acquire that powerbomb expansion. I, I remember acquiring that one powerbomb expansion back in Sanctuary Fortress, but that was about it. So that was already two expansions, so that's uh, that's rather good. Okay, let's see. Is the elevator... Where's the elevator to Agon from here? Um, let's see. E. Um, you have transport to Agon, so we're going to want to take the tunnel that is right over this way. Now, we got to be careful for them wasp nests because there is one right there. There was a missile expansion here, but I think I already got that one. Okay, yep. Um, okay, wait, I'm just looking, I just wanted to make sure, I just want to make sure I go the right way, so we're gonna want to go through a small tunnel, which should be right over here. Yep, here is that thing. Okay, those wasps are kind of angry I destroyed their one nest, but there are, there are worse things in life, like children starving, uh, terrorism, yeah, I could go, I could go on and on with that list. Alright, yeah, again, 50% of items, so we obviously have a lot of work to do, but that's the reason I'm making these videos uh, 45 minutes long now until the end of the series, it's because I want to try and get some stuff done. Okay, yeah, there were some, uh, I forgot there were some uh, Dark Splinters right here, so let's see, do I want to, yeah, okay, crap, this guy is, uh, this guy has clearly noticed me, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, powerbomb their butts. Power bombs away, filthy ing creatures. I can understand why they possess uh, splinters because they look they look very much like their forms on like their true forms on Dark Aether. Okay, that guy only needed one shot to destroy. Okay, yeah, here's a testament. JFME's testament. He said something about uh, he said something about this sky temple key being in something called the works. So I obviously I think I obviously know where to get that sky temple key without looking at a map because uh, the Dynamo Works uh, is where we got uh, that Dynamo Works is where we got the Spider Ball on Light Aether. So there must be a dark uh, dynamo works on uh, on the in the ink hive. So I remember there was uh, one power bomb expansion right before, right where we got that first, uh, right, right, right where we got that spider ball. I wonder if there was an, ex I wondered if there would be an expansion there before, but I guess not because there's uh, apparently a rift port, which I assume takes you to the, uh, which I assume takes you to the place where we gotta go, um, the dynamo works. And I think there is a sky tumble key there. Sorry if I. Uh, haven't been able to concentrate with my grammar because I'm trying to pull up the map at the same time. All right, look at this, guys. We're finally back in the Aegon Waste. I do not. I it has actually been a while since I've been to the Sky Temple. Okay, I'm surprised these things don't lock onto those things. All right, yeah, this should be this should be rather simple. I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of items in this room. Okay, I thought there was no music going on for a moment. Okay, uh, let's see. Can, oh, wow, the Annihilator Beam can destroy these guys instantly. And I think that yeah, the Annihilator Beam does lock onto these guys without even. Uh, without even ha me having to lock on myself. Okay, there's some ants right there. Okay, so our first item, according to this thing here, should be a uh, energy expansion, which is uh, kind of cool because we just got an energy expansion. Okay, wait a minute. What's uh, what's that thing? I think, uh, let's see. Um, okay, yep, there is, uh, there's a whole bunch of Sonic stuff, so I assume, yeah, I remember seeing that thing. There was like a puzzle or something. I'm not sure what exactly it said, but let's just try and get in for a bit of a closer look because so, I, I remember scanning it before and I wasn't able to access it, but... Now that I uh, now that I have all my uh, all the power ups in the game, I assume I'll be able to access it. All right, let's go ahead and look at it. Solar Lens uses uh, Solar Lens modified for use as part of a Lumina Sonic security system. Okay, yeah, just like I said, then now I think we can now access that now that we have uh, now that we have the Echo Visor, the Annihilator Beam, and all that stuff. All right, so there's uh, that first receptor thing right there. Okay, I got it blasted a few times. Oh, okay, so I assume, it looks like our energy expansion is right in there, so I gotta remember to uh, aim for stuff there. All right, okay, I locked onto a sand bat. I was trying to lock onto that Sonic thing. Okay, should I, yeah, let's just switch to, let's switch to the Annihilator Beam so we can get some stuff done here. Yeah, these sand bats were kind of getting annoying, so let's go back to Echo Visor. Yeah, this thing does have a high Sonic aspect, so I wonder if this would be effective. Okay, I think we got a... Okay, never mind. It works anyway. I thought we'd have to get a little closer and get a little bit of aim going before we uh, before we access that thing. And our last uh, our last receptor thing should be okay. Our thing is locking onto those. Uh, it's locking onto the sand bats. Let's just switch it back to good old super missiles so that we're not wasting uh, any of our precious ammo. Um, come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It wasn't working for a moment, but now it's working. Oh, okay, the thing shines a enough light on that thing to reveal that energy tank. 
And now, according to my data here, or just current observations, I assume I got a screw attack over there. Okay, let's just hope I can time my screw attacks just right, otherwise this is going to be a bit of an anger-inducing one. Oh! Y'all see what I mean right there? Um, I gotta time that right, otherwise it just bounces me right back. I, I The screw attack, don't get me wrong, the screw attack has always been one of my more favorite upgrades. Like, my favorite upgrades throughout the Metroid franchise would be the plasma beam, the screw attack, the gravity suit, and power bombs. Mostly just about, mostly stuff about power. Okay, that sandbag is rather annoying. Alright, so, yeah, again, like I was saying, screw attack has always been a very handy upgrade, but in this game it just seems to be a bit of a butt because, uh, we can't really, uh, it just bounces you right back if you hit a wall where it normally doesn't do that with the other games. Come on, come on, come on! Oh man! But frick. Okay, this one's gonna take. Uh, this one's gonna take a little bit, and this could be. This could be rather annoying. So I might edit stuff out. Okay, I may not have time to edit stuff out if I go on for too long, because my camera only has uh, enough SD space for a certain amount of time. So, come on, let's go ahead and try and screw attack rapidly now. Let's see. Oh, oh wow! I actually made it into that one. So forget editing stuff out. We got that stuff done. Energy tank acquired. All right, that's good. That's good. That's pretty good. I'll be sure to X all this stuff out when I'm done here. All right, let's see. Where do I want to go next? I'm just looking around here. So, portal access. Um. Oh wait, I haven't been to. Uh, I haven't been to this area yet. There is a few items here. Uh, according to my map, there is a thing called Dark Burst over here, which I assume is super missiles for the Dark Beam, and then there's a uh, Power Bomb expansion. There's a few items. Uh, there, oh, most of our items here are mostly in the pirate base, but I guess we'll get to those a little later. So. Right now, looking at this thing here, uh, portal access, um, let's see, which room is that? Portal access, okay, so we're heading off to the, uh, we're heading off to the good old portal. Okay, wait, I saw a seeker missile hatch, so I wonder, okay, that's an elevator to Torvis Bog, so I, that's probably not gonna be much of use to me, of much use to me. Alright, yeah, there's a, there was a sand digger around here, so I gotta be, yep, ready for him. Sand digger, it's been a while, good old friend. Now you can go get yourself annihilated via power bomb. Power bombs, I could easily use uh, the annihilator beam, or I could just fire on the old conventional method like I did back in the day. Okay, wait, there was a, oh yeah, that was just a thing. That was a, there's that old great we can't access even to this day. Well, I assume we might be able to access it now that we have a whole bunch of good stuff. Um... Let's see, okay, yep, there's the Morph Ball, there's the Morph Ball space that I was looking for here. Like, really, look at the design, the, look at the light suit design for the Morph Ball, like, it looks very nice. I mean, the Morph Ball design in general is just very nice, but the but the light beam, I mean, light suits a variant, it's just very, very nice in my opinion. Okay, um, transport center, do I have anything here at the transport center? Um, yeah, I don't think so, yeah, there was that one missile expansion right here. Okay, yep, there is a secret missile hatch right up there, and that's just an elevator to Torvis Bog, but I'll just suppose I'll just go ahead and leave that alone. Alright, yep, good old portal setter. We ain't got nothing here. There's, uh, we've already accessed that lore. Okay, yep, those are probably just some annoying old war wasps, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them alone. Uh, transport access. This is where our next, uh, item should be. Um, portal access. Okay, wait a minute. So I think I've... Yeah, if I... I actually... Yeah, I have actually gotten that expansion before, but... Let's just go ahead and move on, because our next missile expansion should be just right along here. Hmm. Man, these stuff like that, the Morph Ball, like the bomb cannons like that, it's just very satisfying. It's, uh, I'm sure it hurt a little bit, but for Samus, but I'm sure it's, uh, still a little fun anyways. Okay, yeah, Mining Station A. This is where one missile expansion should be. There was a room right here, Sand Cash. I remember collecting that one. Okay, I should switch to Annihilator Beam, because with my luck, yep, there are going to be some old, good old pirates right there, and I'm just going to destroy him immediately via my Disruptor Blast. Um, okay, wow, these guys, uh, man, I don't know why I'm having troubles. Okay, yep, okay, yep, that guy Alawak barred me, but he didn't kill me exactly. Okay, well, I don't know why I can't figure out my buns to this day. Alright, yeah, okay, there, okay, I thought that was a missile expansion, but no, that was just, uh, that was just a missile itself. Um, okay, yeah, I could easily, I could easily go ahead and, uh, do all that stuff, or I could just, uh, go ahead and powerbomb my boy right here. Alright, yeah, we got him dead, so let's see, whereabouts is this missile expansion? I don't know, I, it's been a while since I've been to this place. Um, okay, okay, um, what did I just do? Okay, I suppose I'm actually killing the guy right without using power bombs. Oh god! Um, I just, I thought I just about fell down there. Um, come on, there must be, there must as a matter of fact be something around here. Okay, yep, there's that statue of that Luminoff guy who defended Aegon. I believe it was something. Let me go ahead and, uh, scan him again. This is a statue of D. Chur, the child hero of Aegon. Once a lowly occult squire, when he became, he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, it, that was a hero, because there was that one Luminoff statue back in Sanctuary Fortress, like the entrance to Sanctuary Fortress, as a matter of fact. 
Um, yeah, I'm really not sure where to get this uh, missile expansion. Well, I'm sure I did know once upon a time, but I don't really know now. Um, okay, let's just uh, let me take a look at map. Let me take a look at my map here. Okay, so given my current position, it should be should be right over. It should be smack in front of me. So let's go ahead and explore. Let's just go ahead and generally explore a bit of the upper levels. Okay, if I go into that one, that just leads me to the sand cache, which I have already gotten that expansion. Um, let's see, maybe there's, uh, maybe there's something in Dark Visor and or Echo Visor. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, maybe there's something, okay, no, that's, uh, weapons, not wanting, the thing I'm wanting to switch. Okay, yep, there's, uh, obviously nothing around here. Uh, Mining Station A, it should be, yeah, it should, I should be right beside it, but I'm apparently I'm too stupid to find it. Alright, wait, maybe is this, uh, is that something right there? Okay, no, that's just, uh, that's just a lowly block right there. Ah, uh, seriously, where is this, uh, where is this expansion right here? Um, I want to go ahead and say I'll skip this expansion and save it for later, but no, I don't want to do that at the same time. Seriously, this is crap. Um, so, uh, this expansion should be right here. Um, okay, it's probably not going to be below me because there's that stuff. Uh, okay, that's just a missile ammo, not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, hunting missiles uh, could be a little confusing. Okay, wait, maybe it's on the upper level. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are some spider ball tracks right there. So I just got to figure out. I got to figure out how to try and get up to those spider ball tracks. Okay, wait. I think I saw something. There was a. I think there was. There should be a bomb launcher somewhere around here. I'm not entirely sure. Again, it's been ages since I've been to this area. But I know. We know that there are some bombs. Or, there's a spider ball tracks right over there. So there must be a bomb launcher, as a matter of fact, somewhere around here. Abuski. Nope. You can go die in a hole. Thank you very much. Okay, crap. Um, yeah, we must be able to launch ourselves. Okay, I can see the expansion right up there. So, okay, wow, this is just actually little. This is actual crap, you guys. So, um, okay, wait, maybe there's. Okay, I want to say that maybe there's something right along here with any chance. Okay, I doubt these are spider rails, but let's just go ahead and check it out anyway. Yep, those weren't spider rails. Um, okay, next instinct. Uh, okay, there's. Yeah, there definitely should be some stuff right there because there's no way I'll be able to bomb jump them all the way up there. So there must be, yeah, there must perhaps be a bomb launcher somewhere around here. Okay, wait, maybe it's uh, maybe it's behind those crates. Yep, likely not. So you know, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and leave that expansion alone for now. All right, let's see. Where do I? Where exactly do I want to trek on from here? Okay, we. But if we trek on, okay, actually, if we use the hatch right behind me, we can easily access the, we could easily access the temple, so let's go ahead and access the temple, because there was, uh, yeah, there were those items which I meant to collect a long time ago, but I suppose I just left them alone, but now that I have, uh, all my stuff, and I'm just backtracking to all these areas, I suppose I could easily go ahead and do that. Alright, let's see, is this the right hatch? Yep, make sure that's the right hatch. Again, there must be, there must, as a matter of fact, be some way I can access those spider rails, because I'm not sure how else I'll be able to access it. Okay. Okay, good, I can jump up here with my space jump. Very, very handy. Not like the space jump in some of the other games, but still very handy. Alright, yep, there's going to be some shriek bats right up ahead. Like what I say, guys, what I say. And, yeah, well, would you look at that, I actually... Oh, God! But, God, that actually startled me. Okay, he hit me, I killed them all. I thought I killed them all, but I uh, got hit by that one dude. Okay, yep, good old Aegon Temple. That storm is gone. Okay, yep, there's those warrior... Those annoying old warrior wasps coming to get me. Okay, so if I go across... Uh, if I go across the light beam hatch right here, there must be, yeah, it does say that there's a power bomb expansion. Okay, yep, looks like a good old power bomb expansion to me, so flying off we go. Oh, wait, that just uh, blings us right over here. So let's actually go ahead and screw attack our way over to the platform here, which I meant to access. Okay, crap, I should be a little more careful with my jumps. Maybe I'll just uh, try and get a little lower. Alright, come on, we're almost there. Yes, we've made it here. Okay, there should be, I think, I assume this is Denzium, I'm not sure. Structural integrity of Denzium at critical. Okay, yep, it's always Denzium. Again, very ironic that we got to use power bombs to access uh, power bomb expansions. Seriously, where do we disappear to? Our morph ball is clearly right over here, but yeah, we seem to be invisible during the cutscene. I find that kind of to be kind of random. Power bomb expansion acquired, capacity increased by one. It isn't very, uh, very many power bombs, but that's still good. Okay, what are the, all these enemies? Okay, yep, those are just, uh, those are just some good old sand bats. All right, yep. Carefully, we're gonna go and screw attack our way over to the other end here. Now, okay, let me just scroll my map up. I easily, I remember, I easily got that power bomb expansion, but. 
Yeah, now if we got now we got to go over to this dark beam hatch. There's a there's an energy expansion, a missile expansion, and our so-called dark burst. So maybe if I uh, maybe if I run out of time, I might go ahead and do that. Okay, I never realized how trash the egg on waste uh, thing was for now. Telric alloy. Okay, I assumed it'd be telric alloy, and plus the thing looked kind of hollow, so I wanted to go ahead and assume we were doing the right stuff. Nope, you ain't gonna get me today. Nope, you ain't never gonna get me today, alright? Actually, if you ain't gonna get you ain't never gonna get me today, that means that you're never gonna get me. Um, okay, wait, how did I... Did I... Okay, so I think I may have just, uh... I think I just whizzed right past the Dark Beam hatch, because I was trying to avoid all these, uh, War Wasps. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so now that we're here, we can easily go ahead and open this Dark Beam hatch. Alright, it looks like a round thing, so... Yeah, this is kinda like, uh, this is kinda like the... This is kind of like that one Chozo artifact back in the first Metroid Prime game where we have to go through a whole tunnel like this, but except there's a whole bunch of phase on and such. Alright, yep. Okay, we're going to kill these pill bugs. We can easily kill them with power bombs, but I suppose this is just as uh, efficient as well. Okay, yep. Um, I assume we got to do some bomb jumping along this thing. Well, obviously we'd have to do some bomb jumping. I'm not sure how else we'd be able to get to places. Um, let's see. Um, I wish I could switch visors in this thing, but no, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's, uh, think, go across. Okay, yep, those things seem to be rather annoying. Okay, I think there's, uh, I want to assume there's something over here. Okay, I thought I could kill those things, but I guess not. Um, okay, wow, I actually think I actually made it. Okay, I can see a bit of a transparent path, so I just gotta wait for that block to respawn, because I think I know how to get this one. Ah, ah, crap, I just about, I just about freaking had it. Okay, yeah, that purr, the purr that those pill bugs make, that's rather, uh, it's kind of satisfying, you know? Alright, okay, I thought we couldn't go up this way, but I think we can go up this way. So now that I think I, again, now that I think I know where I'm going, I'll hopefully be able to access that one place. Alright, yes, come on, come on. Nah, I've never been too good with morph ball puzzles, so hopefully this, uh, hopefully this one will be just good. Okay, man, those fly thingies are really annoying, aren't they? Um, okay, I wish I could... Uh, hmm, I really just gotta try and... I just gotta try and survey my options here, so... Ha! Ah, well, okay, I think there's a... I would almost say there's a block right up there, so... Uh, I don't want to leave this expansion behind, but... You know, I suppose I'll... I suppose I'll backtrack to it a little bit later, maybe if I have uh, a little bit more time, but I guess we're right now, we're gonna go ahead and get the... Uh, I suppose we're gonna... Oh, wow! That actually worked? Okay, I didn't assume... I didn't think we'd, it worked with just simultaneous missiles, but... Well, yeah, okay, okay, we got a little bit of our room right here, so let's just activate this thing. Power restored to kinetic orb cannon. Okay, I remember now, there was that one item in Sanctuary Fortress required, which required a massive kinetic impact to reveal that item, but I'm not sure, I thought it meant like the something to do with the Annihilator Beam, but now that I um, have this stuff, I think it actually means, uh, I think it actually means, uh, it's, it's talking about stuff, okay. This thing's interdimensional, okay, I think, yeah, this is a bit of a different one right here, so let's go ahead and, uh, Let's go ahead and scan our little boy right here. Um, okay, yep, there he is. Okay, this guy's a little annoying. Crawly, okay, this is a regular Crawly here. Morphology, Crawly, dimensional warping bioform. Able to phase out of local time space creature, target creature before it warps to damage it. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, okay. Oh, wow, our Annihilator Beam could easily go ahead and hit that. All right, there's a, there was a dead Luminoff guy right over here, so let's go ahead and see what him... Let's kill this guy. Luminoth expired a long ago. So, subject was blind, possibly from birth. Um, damage cybernetic augmentation is present. A sonic imaging device um, enabled him to see. Okay, there's something to do with uh, sonic detection gears around here. All right, this is probably going to be... Yep, there's a lot of Densium in this. Okay, we're all out of power bombs, so that's not a good thing. Okay, so if we go through this, uh, if we go through this light beam hatch, this should bring us to our next missile expansion. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get this all over with. I think those blue plants are actually, I think the blue plants we actually go through are actually venomous. So let me go ahead and scan them. Well, it depends if we can scan them. I think there's a, uh, yeah, I think there's a, uh, um, I think there's talking about specific ones. All right, I doubt this will be able to hit them in time. So let's go ahead and uh, get a charge beam going before. Aha! Gotcha! Right there. Okay, there's a rift. There's a rift portal right over there. So I assume maybe there's something to do with that stuff. All right, let's go ahead and let's just straight up go ahead and see what the heck this thing does right here. Um. Okay. Oh wow, well, that's just uh, that's just turning that thing. Okay, I think I see a morph ball ammunition thing. Um. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, this uh timing thing. Okay. Wow. Well, I think I'm supposed to. Yeah, you know, I'm supposed to use this. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna waste my time right here. Oh wait, that just brought me right back up here. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose the timing on that one, so... Okay, yeah, let's just wait. Let's just wait until that thing deactivates, because I do not want to cut myself up, especially not when I'm this close to ending the game. 
Alright, yeah, we got that power bomb ammo. Okay, good, that thing is slowing down so that we don't get totally messed up in the process. Alright, let's see, there's something... Yeah, there should be something right along here. Okay, wait, there's something... Yeah, there's a thing right over here. Mechanism analysis complete. Industrial grade mining drill. The space pirates are trying to convert it into a weapon based on analysis. Ah, the space pirates. They're just weaponizing basically everything. Okay, wait, this is... Uh, I don't think I've explored this area before. Okay, there's something right here. Uh, another kinetic orb cannon right here. Alright. Oh, okay, there's some more Illumina floor right here. So let's go ahead and scan this stuff. New weapons. Okay, let's go ahead and see what they developed. Our studies of the Ying revealed the, sur the source of their attacks as dark energy. We built weapons to use this energy, thinking it could overload enemy targets and eliminate them. We soon learned our error, as the Dark Beam was not of great effect on the Ying. Then we began to develop a weapon that used light energy. This weapon would dispatch the Ying with terrible efficiency. Okay, so I was just talking about how they uh, developed the light beam and the dark beam just to kind of uh, go with each other. Okay, I'm not sure not sure where any of this is going to lead me to. Okay, crap, I was right up on top of there. There's, uh, I think there is one or two, there's one or two missile expansions which requ requires us to do some boost balling. Alright, let's see, where exactly have I taken myself? Um, okay, let's go ahead and see. Um, okay, this like, looks like a crane. Oh, wait a minute, that just plopped me back right there. Oh, wait a minute, I think I was supposed to... I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. I was supposed to, uh... I was supposed to activate that bomb launcher thing right here. Okay, there's a... Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to activate that bomb slot, then I assume maybe that, uh... I assume that maybe that kinetic orb cannon will lead me to somewhere. Okay, let's try and be quick. We have, like, uh, 20 or 30 seconds before this thing deactivates, so let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and be quick. Alright, so I must be quick, be quick, be quick. Alright, yes, there's, a uh, Yep, there's a morph ball thing right over here, so I assume maybe this uh, leads us to somewhere. Alright, yes, this leads us to somewhere, so maybe this bomb launcher, uh, bomb slot will do something. Okay, it looks like it did something. Okay, that revealed a, uh, that revealed a beam, that revealed a hatch right there, so that is, uh, that's rather good. Okay, I don't know why I was saying hatch, but it revealed a rift portal right over there. Sorry, I guess, like I said, sometimes I get so into these videos I can't even concentrate. Oh, right, uh, I remember now, I forgot that we gotta use this thing to access that thing now, because I assume it's just stuck up there, I'm not sure how else you'd be able to access it. Alright, oh, come on! We were just, we were right there, just like the, it was just like that, energy, well, was a couple attempts with the energy tank. Um, okay, yeah, the camera goes a little iffy sometimes when I do boost balling, it's not the camera I'm using, it's just a camera in the game. Oh, come on! Okay, third time's a charm, Sam's for our skills are really, holy crap, I just launched myself. Let's try and, uh, okay, wait, I think the boost ball, I think the boost just expires, uh, when you're trying to do stuff. Alright, yes, let's try and get some stuff going. Oh, ah, yeah, there we go. Third time was a charm, so now we know where exactly this is going. We can just boost ball our way along here. Okay, what is that? Okay, wait, I assume that's our dark burst? Yeah, dark burst. Okay, I don't think, yeah, I doubt we'll be able to space jump our way up there, so let's go ahead and uh, go through this uh, rift portal right here. I assume this maybe leads us round and about to uh, that dark burst eventually at some point. Okay, just looking at my stuff here, uh, there's not really too many items here for our egg on waste. Most of them are, like I said, are just in the pirate base. Okay, yep, we've got a bit of a different area right here. I assume the Ying are somewhere around here. Luminoth, according to Luminoth records, the Ying are used this area to conduct rites of passage. Young Ying battle fierce opponents to prove their metal in combat. Okay, yep, some Ying, some Ying guys are definitely going to be around here, so let's go ahead and try and keep our stuff ready. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy turned to a bit of an ap apocalyptic red when, the, uh, when I took the planetary energy. Okay, whoa. What are coming? Okay, just some just some good old night barbs. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Um, let's look around this place. As a matter of fact, okay, it doesn't look like there's uh, doesn't look like there's too much. Okay, those night barbs are just uh, flying along endlessly almost. So, let's see. Can I? Okay, I think I can access something. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. That should stop those guys from coming along. Either that, or it's just the end of them in general. All right, how are we how are we supposed to get up there? There must be. Yeah, there has to be there has to be a way to get up there. Okay, wait, maybe there was uh, I think there was something along here. Yeah, there was a hatch. Okay, now I see what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to go along here. Okay, yep, there's uh, ing bioworms right there, which I cannot access at all. Now we gotta simply bump up over here, and I assume we gotta bump up over there. I don't have my map for dark egg on. I want to try and uh, cover the. I want to try and look at dark egg on after I've uh, completed all the items for egg on. Oh crap. What are those things? Okay, those are a new. I, uh, those are a new enemy. I think I'm not sure how I'd be able to scan them. There's uh, apparently stuff in the ground right there. Okay, yeah, I'm obviously not going to be able to scan those guys. Okay, I have quite a bit of ammo, but let's go ahead and uh, annihilate these guys. Okay, I didn't mean to hit the crystal, but I suppose that's uh, 
I suppose it's handy too. Um, our dark beam ammo is really plentiful, but I suppose we could try and improve our uh, light beam ammo. Oh, this is how this is how we get to this one. Okay, I never knew how exactly to get to this uh, get to the other side of the grates on light aether from this angle. So I suppose it was all something to do with the dark burst in the end. Really curious to see what the dark burst is all about. Okay, we have five minutes left for this episode, so I suppose I'm just gonna go ahead and get the dark burst. Maybe try and acquire uh, one or two more items and then go ahead and end off the video. All right, guys, so we're finally on the other side of the Agon Grates. All right, those are things are gonna be. Okay, no, it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of sand bats. Okay, wait, I wonder. No, actually, no, let's not waste our last power bomb. Power bombs are gonna be plentiful. Oh wow, wow, look at this thing. Yeah, the light, the light, um, the sun burst uh, back in the after the previous episode was very much like this, except it was you know light. All right, let's go ahead and get the dark burst. I'm really curious to see what this thing looks like because it looks like we're firing the sun. Well, that's well, probably why it's called sunburst. Uh, with uh, sunburst. Whoa. Okay, I didn't see anything fire, but it looks like it was very, very powerful. Dark burst acquired. All right, sounds good. This powerful attack uses five missiles. Hold the dark beam, and it'll, I probably use up uh, thirty shots of uh, dark beam ammo as well. Oh. The pirates are here, so what better opportunity to see what this thing looks like? Okay, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Whoa! Oh my god! We just summoned a black hole up in this place! Holy crap! I didn't know, I didn't think it was gonna be that powerful. Well, it's probably gonna be that powerful, but holy crap, we created a freaking, we, cr we temporarily created a freaking black hole with that thing. Wow, Metroid never ceases to amaze me, and I mean it never ceases to amaze me with these odd things. Alright, so easily, I think we can, uh, yeah, there was a yeah, there was a bomb launcher which uh, which took us back to the area we want to go to. So hopefully, maybe I can try and acquire that uh, energy expansion. If not, I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and acquire that and the missile expansion on my way. Uh, on my after this video is done is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. All right. Yeah, we're in the we're in the good old tunnels again, which remind me of the old place. Okay, so our boost ball can't kill pill bugs. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and use our classic morph ball bombs as usual. Um, okay, well, I th I think I just phased right through that guy. Okay, um, I don't know why. Okay, uh, apparently I'm an idiot because I just wasted my last power bomb like an idiot. All right, um, I just gotta have I gotta have careful I gotta I gotta have careful jumps. It's not I can easily um, make it past the rest of this stuff, but it's just that last phase which I have a lot of troubles with. And these blocks uh, they disappear rather quickly, so I want to say uh, um, okay, crap, no, 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 no. Um, wait, maybe I can access. Uh, hmm, really not sure how I'd be able to access this one. So ah ah, wait, okay, wait a minute, maybe there's uh. Maybe there's an alternative thing. Okay, yeah, those pill bugs are just uh, purring or whatever the sound they're making. So, Booski, you can go have a morph ball. Okay, I can kill them. Uh, I can stun them with the morph ball bombs, but I can kill them with the boost. Okay, that's a uh, that's a rather nice thing to know. Okay, wait, I don't think I've explored. Yeah, I don't think I've explored this area before. Okay, wait, this is just uh, this is just that under area. So, yeah, yeah, it's good to explore stuff, even though it means absolutely nothing in some cases. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I just about had that bomb jump, but I suppose I placed that last bomb a little too late now, didn't I? Okay, crap. I gotta try and get my things right. I'm shaking the Wii Remote to get myself the regular bombs, uh, ball jump, but I suppose that's not really doing much, is it now? Ah, come on. Come on, Samus. Come on. Dog, come on. Okay, man, I really gotta try and improve my bomb jumping skills, don't I? Okay, yes, there we go. That's, uh, that's a bit more like it. Alright, well, I'm gonna give it one more try, and then I'm gonna go ahead and end that video and just try and acquire that expansion. Anyway, I'll try and figure out how to get that missile expansion by the pirate space, by I don't know how else. Oh! There's something right over here. Um, there is definitely something, there's most definitely... Frick! Okay, I think I know something, so well, I'm just gonna give it one more try. Third time's a third time is definitely the charm here. Okay, it's five o'clock now on my computer, so I was just trying to keep track of time as well. Okay, I don't know why I placed that bomb, even though I probably don't need it anyway. All right, I think I have the key now to getting that energy expansion. If not, I suppose I'll just go ahead and collect it anyway with the use of the internet. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do this. Um, let's see, can I place a bomb? Okay, um, let's see, let's try and carefully edge up to this thing. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what exactly we're supposed to do. Okay, that just, uh, bumps me up. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna search up and have on how to get this energy expansion, but you know what, guys, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end off the video here anyway. So, we are definitely getting closer and closer to the end of this series. Like I said, I've been doing these uh, videos 45 minutes at a time to try and cover as much stuff as we can before the end of the series, because I want to try and end off the series before uh, the Christmas break, because I want to start off the new year with Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, but... 
hopefully things are going now. Uh, hopefully things will go fast enough. We have fewer items in the dark world of worlds. I also use, I noticed that pattern because there's uh, fewer items in dark aether uh, than the light aether. So hopefully this thing will go rather quick. So for now, that's about all the time we've got today. So thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe. Leave comments down below because I like them. And crank that like button to the max like soldier boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and bros. See you guys.